So can you guys walk me through, like, why is Asian hair different compared to black, white, uh, Latino, whatever it is, and why does it need to be treated differently? So people understand why the hairs aren't able to do what they do. Hmm. Oh, man, it's such a such a wide range because, like, there's, there's four different types of hair, right? There's the straight, wavy, you have curly, and then you have kinky. And most Asian guys uh, have straight, but then in straight or wavy, but then in between those types, there's four different categories, uh, three different categories, wow. subcategories, A being thinnest, C being thickest. Um, I think it all boils down to also uh, the growth pattern. Mm. Um, if your hair is wavy or curly, it definitely cannot do something that is straight, unless you go to the salon and you actually process it. And so I think that if it is a question that you have, I think it's best to send a picture to us and then we'll sort of give you that recommendation if this haircut will work for you. Right, so I think the, the biggest, well, the most common one we've been seeing is just how Asian hair is. Yeah, that side. And the reason why that happens is because what Tim mentioned, uh, there's four yeah. types of hair. Now for us, the majority of us have type one hair, which okay. is straight. And with straight hair, it depends on, let's say if it's really thick, then it will be even harder for it to lay down. Now for us, our hair pretty much grows perpendicular to our head, so it will shoot out. And, uh, you know, with, with like a lot of Asian guys, what happens is, you know, if you shave it up too high with the shape of the head, it starts to grow out funny because, you know, at this curvature, if I were to cut yeah. this part, right, and you see how it kind of curves my head, this portion will start to stick out this oh, way if not enough weight is down there. And the reason why your hair is able to stick down is because where the parietal ridge starts to round in, it's heavy enough to yeah. lay over. The lengths are much longer by the top than it is by the bottom, which creates that illusion that we have that like kind of flatter hair, yeah. per se. But if you cut that off, you try to grow it out, mm -hmm. <laughs> funny. Yeah, with Asian hair, length yeah. is gonna be yeah. your friend. Right. Uh, but it really depends. Like Peter said before, around the Prado Ridge, some people, like, it doesn't even work out just because the hair is so thick that even if you grow it like that, it still sticks out wow. this way, right? And so I think um, there's this thing called a down perm that people have tried. We haven't tried it yet, but I think that's... Uh, D perm. It's sure. a company called D perm. I actually tried it. I mean, it, it worked and it kept me from going to the barber shop with like maybe another month or so. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, it, it's really nice. this thing that really messes up the haircut, which I think a lot of uh, mm -hmm. other guys, like because the hair goes down, they can keep a fresher look to it. Um, so I, mm -hmm. I know guys like get haircuts every two weeks, a week because of that side hair that comes out. So it really sucks for us, you right. know, when it comes down to that. Exactly. So back to what Peter was saying before, perpendicular versus straight out, right? So. I think every other uh, ethnicity, like everybody's hair grows down. Yeah. And so that's why they can last a little longer without haircuts. But us, every two weeks, yeah. is ideal. <laughs> right. And for yeah. someone who's never really gotten a, like a good haircut here in two weeks, every two weeks, they're probably like, damn, that's a lot. But I mean, that's why you got to connect to that haircut with like a good feeling about, you know, like that self-confidence. And I think it'll keep people coming. Um, but at the same time, I want to backtrack on that. The two weeks is only two weeks if not cut properly. Mm. So I've had, I've had some clients come in that they used to get it cut every two weeks, but then after they kind of tailored their haircut um, to something similar, but also combats that issue of your hair sticking out, it lasts around four to five. So that's also what we do at the shop too. We, will, we build confidence in people so that they try something new where, you know, they make some sacrifices in some areas but at the same time, you know, they benefit in others and then they start to continue to change their hairstyle based off their lifestyle. So let's say if you can't afford the two weeks, fine. Let's just say like you get a bald fade on the side, something super short. Instead of it growing out really awkwardly by the second week, maybe we'll offer something where it's like a one on the side and then you still have the skin taper. So it looks like a skin fade, but you don't lose that shape to the hair where it sticks out after mm. two weeks. So there are things that you can do to avoid going back to the shop too often. And we preach this pretty often too. We don't want our clients to come back after two weeks because it's beneficial that they see their hair growing or have a hairstyle that lasts that much longer. Just because, you know, also when they come back, there's more stories to tell. You know, there's also more to catch up on.